hey welcome back uh, this is the third part of my C++ Lua tutorials um, in the last tutorial we uh, covered how to access uh, global variables and uh, how to get them from Lua to C++ and uh, what if you let's say you have a player you know in a game you usually have players so he has a health set to a hundred um, you know so what if you wanna change that or access that um, health through scripting you would maybe do something like like player health uh, maybe set set health maybe to 100. Oh no, let's take something else. 45. And then maybe print get health. This wouldn't work right now, but we're gonna make it work. So how do you create functions in C++ and be able to call them from Lua? Well. You need to create a new function that is an type int. Call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it set health, and you need to pass in a Lua state as an argument. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? Well, we want to give feed Lua or health. No, no, we we want. We want to get the first uh, our argument from our function that we specify in Lua and want to set it to the health variable. So, to do that, we can use um, a couple of methods functions. So, um, we could do it like this. Um, Lua um, uh, to oh right Lua to number as in the state and the index negative one and then health is equal to Lua to number and just return nothing. This will um, take the first argument of our function and set it to the health variable. Now this is very unsafe because what if we specify a string instead or a boolean value? Then it would then it would crash, and we don't really want that. So instead. <coughs> We make sure. First of all, we make sure that they actually add uh, that they have actually typed or entered an argument. So int args is equal to Lua get top. This will get all uh, get the index of the last uh, argument. So it you know it gets the index of the first you know the top. So it's the last argument. And if that, that if that index if we have more than uh, one if we have one or at least if we, have, if we have at least one argument or more then continue and then we want to make sure that this is a number so then we do if Lua is number negative args why is that? Why do we negative orgs? Well, because this variable orgs contains the number of arguments that we specified in our function from Lua, right? In this case, one. In the Lua is number function, we have to specify the index we want to, uh, the index of the 
variable that we want to access. And if we specify negative and the number of arguments we have, we get to the first argument that we specified in this. Let's say we specify something like this, these four arguments. Negative args is over here. Negative one is here. We covered that earlier. Alright, so now when we have made sure that the first argument, that we have an argument, and that is a number, we can assign it to the health safely. Uh, when I cast this as a integer, because um, because this is of type double. Alright, so that's that. Now we have covered the set health function. How do we then make Lua recognize this function? Because if we would run it right now it wouldn't do anything. Probably crash. So we need to register it. And make sure when you register functions that you register them before an execution of any script. Because if you execute script before registering the function the function won't be recognized. So, that's in the state, Lua state. Then the name of the function in Lua, what name the function will have. So here we have set set health is our name. So you just set health, and now the function, and it is the same. So the function's name in C++ is set health, and the name in Lua is also set health. So now this works. Now the health can be set to something else with scripting. So let's do that. Do the file and then see out health. If, we, if I'm wrong, we will see 100. If I'm right, we will see 45. So let's try it. I got a syntax error. Int, what the heck if? God. 4 to 5, alright, it works. So that's how you. That's how you link C functions to Lua. Now, we also want this to work. Get help. So, how do we do that? Well, specify a function. Int, get help. Lua state. Oh. Now, all we have to do is feed the health variable to Lua from C++. And we do that by Lua push number, the state and the number, the value, the number. So we pass in health. Okay? And then we have to, uh, you see it's a type of type int, so we have to return the number of values we have given to Lua. So in this case we've given Lua one value. So we return one. Up here we gave no value to Lua. So we return zero. Okay. And now we don't have need this C out statement statement. All we need is this print get health. And it should print out the same thing. Nil. That's not the same thing. All oh, right, I haven't registered it. My bad. So register l get health get health. All right. Now it should work. Function uh, Okay. Right. It's a function. 4 to 5. Okay, my bad. So, that's how you link C functions to Lua. Thanks for watching.